Spring has sprung, and if you're like me, you're loving the sunshine and you can't wait to get back to your favorite outdoor activities, many of which may include water. Yes, we all know the rush foot is waterproof, so you won't have any problems there. But when it comes to being around the pool or on the beach, we just want to share a few tips to help you both get a little more grip and help keep you stable, as well as to protect your foot and your foot shell from the abrasive elements you might find. So, in the past, we've done videos about how to take sandals and modify them so that they will stay stuck to your brush foot. When I do go to the pool or the beach, I want just a little bit more protection. So my choice is water shoes or aqua socks. A couple of these bad boys. Now you can find these at just about any big retail store, especially around this time of year. Or you can get online and just do a quick search for the words water shoes or aqua socks and find tons of options. Like I said, I'm not big on sandals, but what these do for me is give me plenty of grip and stability as well as just protect my whole foot. So I prefer these. It's something I can wear in and out of the water, whereas, you know, sometimes with sandals, people will walk up to the edge of the water and want to kick them off and jump in at which point your foot and your foot shell are now no longer protected. We do have a cute little trick that's gonna help you keep from getting debris inside there. And go to the store and get your favorite shade of pantyhose. Now these are definitely not my shade. Oh, they are pretty though, they are pretty. So I've got pantyhose here now, and you're probably wondering, what is he gonna do with those? Well, other than wear them like I would on a normal Saturday night, I'm gonna go ahead and put this over my foot. Okay, there we go. I've got my pantyhose over my prosthetic foot, and you're probably wondering what the heck is he doing, other than looking fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of tape, wrap it around the pylon here, trim off the excess, just so I only look slightly ridiculous. So now that I've taped it here to the pylon and cut off the excess, what I've done is created a huge sock, basically, to go over my prosthetic foot. Now you can see here, it's covering up the foot shell. So if I go into uh, the beach and I go wading into the water, I'm not gonna get rocks or sand or debris or anything else like that down inside the foot shell. So when I'm done with my day at the beach, all I have to do is give the foot a fresh water rinse and life is good. Um, keep this in mind though. Another reason why I like the water shoes is because even after I've put my pantyhose on my foot, you know, you're gonna walk around on sand and rocks, you might just burn a hole right through this, rip it, and sort of defeat the purpose. So now that I've gone ahead and put my pantyhose on, I can don my water shoe, and now I'm ready for a day at the pool or a day at the beach. I don't have to worry about um, breaking down my foot shell or wearing it out prematurely. I don't have to worry about rocks or debris or anything getting inside the foot shell, and I'm just gonna have me a great day at the beach. So. There you go, a couple quick tips. Um, again, check the comments section below. You'll find a couple links to previous videos we've done about how to modify your sandals, as well as how to clean up your foot after a day in the water. And um, yeah, we hope that this has helped you out. So thank you for tuning in, Brush Life.